But yeah, we've been hanging a lot, out a lot. David's the man. Yo, ho, ho, sha. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I'm gonna tell you guys the story of how I got involved in this card printing thing that I'm doing. So I don't know if you guys have seen, but I've been making these uh, custom cards, like printing them on this crazy printer. If you check out my Instagram story, I've actually posted a couple videos on here of me over there with the printer and it's really wild, but I've been making these cards. I'm really hyped about them. Um, these are not foil. I have some like crazy foils, but you gotta check out my Instagram story on my Instagram page. I have a lot of stuff posted over there, but I'm gonna strip them this box of Dragon Ball Super Kado Game Zenkai. Dawn of the Z Legends. I, I should have another secret rare in one of these boxes. So I'm just gonna strip them until I get that. Uh, here we go. So I'm gonna slice in this thing. But yeah, basically um, the story starts, I was at a bar mitzvah uh, a couple of years ago, you know, what I like to do in my free time. I definitely like frequenting bar mitzvahs. No, I haven't been in one in a long time as a family friend. And I was over, you know, talking to some people. I was talking to this guy and you know, he liked my pants. I had some cool pants on and we were chatting it up and um, you know, my friend comes over and he's like, oh yeah, this is my dentist. And I was like, yep. And he's like, no way, you're a dentist? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, I'm a dentist. And uh, so he, um, I guess like we did, he, you know, we didn't really bless him there. Uh, he, we didn't really talk too much after that. But um, fast forward, like this is like maybe five or six months ago from now. No, not even that long ago, like three months ago or something like that, sometime this summer. But I went to my friend's spot down at the shore. He has a, ooh, this is a pretty card. Son Goku, Faded Revival. Wow, these foils look sick. I think this this whole set looks really good. I love these shiny, sparkly things. Anyway, um, so I go to my, uh, my friend's shop. He's got this store down on Long Beach Island, this island that's five miles off the coast of New Jersey where I spent the majority of my childhood. And um, he had um, he had all these, he's a painter. He makes really, really sick paintings. His name's Garrett. Um, if you guys wanna check out his art, you know, drop me a message, I'll, I'll send it to you on Instagram or something like that. But yeah, um, he was making, uh, he's, he has these like really, really cool paintings that he does. And he had this, um, these ceramic prints of his paintings. And I was like, dude, these are awesome. Like what are, whoa, yeah, SPR Paikohan and Goku. Look at them clashing fists, they're fist bumping in the middle of the card. The fist bump Goku Paikohan. Very cool, very, very cool. Yeah, so um, I go to my friend's shop and he's got these cool ceramic tiles printed with his paintings. I'm like, dude, where'd you get these? These are sick. And he's like, man, there's this guy that's just printing them for me. And I think he knows you. And I was like, wait, really? And he was like, yeah, because he asked me if I ever go to Princeton because that's where the printer is. And I was like, yeah, well, you know, I go there sometimes to get my teeth clean and see my dentist. And he was like, I think I know who your dentist is. And literally, like, right as he was saying that, this guy walks in and he's like, yo, Garrett, what's up? And I turned around and I was like, wait a second. I know you. <laughs> I know who you are. We met at the bar mitzvah. And he was like, hey, dude, like, what's going on? So I was like, man, I was like, I have this project that I really want to do. But I feel like I can't really just explain it. I feel like I have to invite you over to my house and, like, show you my house. And if I show you my house, then I can just, like, explain in the actual detail required to actually, like, make this project happen. He's like, all right, yeah, sure. So he came over to my house. And the first thing he says when he comes in, he's like, oh my God, dude, my son would love this place. Like he would freak out. He's like, I can I, he's like, can I take videos and stuff? I was like, dude, just invite him over. Tell him to come over here. So his son comes over. His son's name is David. David, if you're watching this, you know who you are. This is a cool looking car. Look at that foot, getting foot stomped. Toes, three toes shattered into your face. And Shugesh, what is combo of cards? Yeah, so he invites his son over and I was just showing him like everything. I'm showing him all the cards. I'm talking to him about the history of all this stuff and my involvement with these things and my background in art and ooh, Pan Chan, Inherited Bloodline. Those are our SRs, very cool. Let's see how many, uh, are those the SPRs? I don't know how many SRs we pulled. There's one, two, two. So there should be three more SRs in here. So they come over and I'm showing them like the, the cards and you know, all the stuff and telling them the story of, and they were listening like Krillin is with his giant ears. And um, yeah, his son's actually in the middle of watching One Piece. So like, he was like, dude, I'm like on Whole Cake Island right now. I was like, oh, hype. I like this Goku leader a lot. I think this looks really cool. I don't know if it's good, but I think it looks great. It's so dang sparkly. 
um so yeah so we were like geeking out about one piece and i actually got him really into the game we hang out all the time i'm, I'm kind of making him like my padawan uh you know he's i'm showing him the way of how to be a uh, sick nasty one piece card gamer and have have fun with it as well and um we're working on a couple of these printing projects together also this looks great these foils look awesome i think they look really 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 fun um but yeah we've been hanging out a lot david's a man i'm very uh it's cool to, to hang out because you know he actually is going to the high school that i went to he's a senior in high school and i definitely see a lot of myself in him you know I, there's there's a, there's a certain kind of vibe or mindset that you have at that age when you're into this sort of stuff like anime and these stories that it, it it affects you you know it changes who you are at your core and it doesn't not everybody's into it so it can be a little bit isolating so it's kind of it's kind of cool to be able to connect with him and and share exciting feelings about like all the hype stuff that's happening in this world and you know he's totally into the cards and we're having a lot of fun playing and he's actually getting pretty good at he like waxed me like four times last week i mean i i also might just be bad that also could be a very real possibility but we've been having a lot of fun we i've been doing like a little uh joku locals where we get some local guys together and we've been playing cards at my office actually and he's been coming to that and last week he i think he beat me like three times in a row man i could not get a game off him he was he was clapping my cheeks which was pretty cool but yeah so i've been going over there and printing connected with these guys it's been really great here's the bless him bless him to strip him and i have some really 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 exciting stuff coming up in the pipeline uh, this should be an sr i think no i was wrong miscounted but i'm excited to share it with you guys keep an eye on my instagram story definitely if you want to know all the latest details of what i'm doing and what i'm making and stuff like that definitely tune in over there because i will be updating that somewhat regularly um and there's a very very big a couple of very big projects happening that i'm really excited to share with you guys about once i can once they're actually fleshed out but for now that's the story of how i got into this printing i'm a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip my dental tooth tip to you would be if you get a root canal make sure to get your root canal tooth crown because a lot of people will get the root canal and they're like i don't really need the crown but then the tooth is going to break and then you just got that root canal for nothing because now you're going to lose that tooth so get that tooth crowned as soon as you can good to get a ceramic crown on there all ceramics is fantastic instead of getting a metal crown and make sure you're taking care of it also because just because you replace stuff in your mouth doesn't mean it's going to take care of itself you have to take care of it and clean it it's not actually as good as it was before it was broken it's like a fixed version now and you have to maintain it so thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time Bye.